So, good evening to you all. My name is Maya, and I welcome each and every one of you to this exclusive webinar on the topic Financial Success Model for Women, being organized by the Kerala IT Parks. This webinar is conducted by Priyanka Bhatia, the co founder of Women on Wealth. So I joined uh, Women on Wealth in August 2021 after listening to a free webinar just like this. I was not very interested in finance when I was younger. I used to skip all the financial pages in the Hindu. And there were times I felt completely clueless and unsure of my financial position, though I was earning. I had not invested I was depending on my father or my husband to take all these boring financial decisions. So after a while, it was a gnawing thought that this is not how it should be. I happened to read Louis Hay's books and understood that this lack of confidence in my finances could probably be the cause for my chronic back pain. And I decided that I should do something about it. I'm also a student of pranic healing. I learned about energy and how our thoughts and beliefs can affect every aspect of our life, like health, relationships, our job, finances. I also learned about manifestation and it decided that I wanted to learn how to manage my finances. And I did the necessary practices for that. And I landed on Women on Wealth. Women on Wealth was started in 2011 as a financial community created to enable women to make independent financial decisions. It's a learning and doing community rather than an investment agency. And they offer many training programs, uh, the details of which Priyanka will be sharing with you. After joining WOW uh, or Women on Wealth, how we call them is WOW, I completed the money gym and stock program. And now I have started investing on my own since January, 2022, based on the learnings. I have learned to build a ba balanced portfolio based on my financial goals. I started my retirement fund. I monitor my daily money in, money out. I have a budget. I've opened a DMAT account. I've invested regularly. I invest regularly in stocks, mutual funds, NPS, PPF, and everything and also learned how to choose a good health insurance, et cetera. All with the support of the WOW community, I have done that. And now even my husband is also keen to invest his money based on this learning. I was so impressed with the methods and structures of Women on Wealth and the amazing support of this community that I have taken upon as a mission to spread the word on financial education to women in Kerala and help create 50,000 Kerala women wealth creators by the year 2030. A team of enthusiastic financially educated women of Kerala from the WAV group has come together as WAV Kerala to realize this dream. It is as part of this mission that we are organizing some exclusive sessions for women groups in Kerala. This webinar is for a, a period of 45 minutes. It will be followed by a 15 minute Q&A session. So please keep all your questions ready. I thank Kerala IT Parks for organizing this session, especially Jayanti Ma'am, the CFO of Technopark, Mr. Vasan, the AGM Marketing, especially Chencho Thomas for coordinating and making this happen. I now welcome Priyanka, to please take over the session. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Maya. This was heartening. I must say I'm joyous to have a woman stand up and say, okay, let's build Kerala into a financially educated state now. Thank you so much. What a privilege, I must say that. Thank you. And thank you, Chencho and everybody else who's put this event together so that women can be financially educated. So thank you so much. And Thank you to all of you who've joined in and are taking out time for your financial education. It demonstrates your commitment to be financially successful.
Only one in eight Indian women take charge of their finances. And by showing up for this session, you've demonstrated your commitment to be that one in eight Indian women. I am Priyanka Bhatia and I'm from Women on Wealth. We help women take charge of their finances. We run online financial training and coaching programs so that women can learn how they can manage their money and grow it effectively. We've now been operational for the last 11 years and we have helped over 4,000 women till now. These women have become debt-free. They've come out of living paycheck to paycheck. They today save at least 25% more than they ever saved. Many women have built their own investment portfolios. They've learned the step-by-step -step methodologies to pick their own investments. Some women have, e have even generated 40 to 80% returns on their investments. Some have managed to buy their own properties, start their own businesses without depending on their husband, father, broker. And some women today are recognized as the finance ministers of their house and they are getting involved in major financial decision making in their family. So if you look at finance, finance has been a male domain in our families. And our intention at Women on Wealth is to make it gender free. Because we at Women on Wealth believe that finance is a system and everyone can learn it. Finance is not a gender role. It is not something only for the men to do. Finance is a system and every woman with basic IQ and basic math skills can learn it. Here are the three paid online financial training and coaching programs that we run. Number one is our flagship course, the Women on Wealth Money Gym program, also called as your personal finance blueprint. Today, the work that I talk about is inside of this special introduction to the Money Gym program. The second course is a bit of an advanced course to Money Gym. It's called the Art of Picking Quality Stocks for Beginners. And number three, we run premium one-on-one -on -one financial coaching services. Also, we have a lot of free resources available right here for you. Monday, 5 p.m. live on Instagram, we have the Wake Up Women series. Tuesday, 10 a.m. live on our Facebook page, we have the decoding of the ET Wealth newspaper. Wednesday, 10 p.m. on Zoom, we have the Candid Community Conversations. Thursday, 10 a.m., live on our Facebook page, we have My Investment Mastery Series. Friday, 10 a.m., live on our Facebook page, we have the Decoding of the Economic Times newspaper. Friday, 4.30 p.m. on Instagram, we have the Fortune Friday Ask Me Anything series. And Friday, 6 p.m. on Zoom, we have the Online Money Book Club discussion. So these are all the free resources that you can take advantage of by connecting with us and staying connected with us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and all other platforms. The links to all these platforms I'm sharing right here with you on your Zoom chat now. So make sure you connect with us and you take advantage of all the opportunities. And now a little bit about me. So if you ever thought you need to be from a finance background to manage your money, or you thought you need to be great with maths, numbers, and calculations to manage your money, or you thought you need to be a man to manage your money, then note, I'm not a man and I don't come from a finance background. I come from a journalism background. That's what my education, higher education has been in. I used to be a reporter with news agencies like the Press Trust of India, United News of India, and more, where I had a great salary, which I used to spend on branded shoes, clothes, bags. I always wanted to create wealth, and I just didn't know how to do that. And I got a big shock when one of my male colleagues ended up buying a property. He was at the same position as mine, same salary as mine. And he ended up buying a property while I had not even managed to save that much money. So that's where my quest to wealth began. And I thought the first person to take guidance from is my dad. And like any well-meaning man, my dad mentioned about traditional investments. Like public provident fund, PPF and fixed deposits. I did those investments. 
and very soon i realized that the rates of return were really low and i had big goals i wanted to buy my own property in delhi and cr earn from my investments ultimately build a corpus for my business and i knew none of those goals were possible if i continue to manage my money the way i was managing and invest it the way i was investing i knew i had to take some different actions to get a different result and one of the different actions that showed up for me was to check with this mail colleague of mine who had ended up buying a property and when i checked on him he mentioned that he invests in the stock market so straight i went ahead opened a dmat account got myself a broker and i started buying and selling whatever my broker told me to do only to realize in 2008 that i lost 90% of what i had invested and at that time i was so sad and disgusted with what had happened that i thought wealth creation was not for me and that i should give up and i literally gave up on wealth creation i gave up on wealth creation until i could find my mentors and i found four mentors a woman stock investor a property investor a serial entrepreneur and a business coach and when these guys began to guide me and they gave me little exercises to do financial clarity began to emerge in my life like i exactly knew how much money was coming into my life how much money was going out where that money was going how much money i needed to reach my financial goals where i needed to invest and how much i needed to invest to reach my goals my stock investor mentor she taught me a step by step methodology to pick good quality stocks until then i didn't even know that there was a step by step methodology to pick good quality investments so i learned the methodology to pick good quality stocks went back to the stock market with a lot of courage and it was different this time because i started by making 70000 rupees in 120 minutes and i kept making money like that to a point that i could buy my own property in delhi and cr i learned the step by step methodologies to pick good quality mutual funds other investments and i built a well diversified investment portfolio with my own understanding and knowledge and a point came where i started earning from my investments and my earnings from my investments were more than what my expenses were and at that point i knew that i was free to take up meaningful projects in my life so i quit my job and 2011 we started women on wealth since then there's been no looking back it's been 11 years to women on wealth and 4000 women financially educated also we've been covered by the bbc news and the tv 247 news channel z business news channel hindustan times newspaper femina magazine entrepreneur magazine and a series of women's blogs and posts also sherry blair who's wife of mr tony blair the ex uk prime minister she wrote about us in the huffington post herself and she offered us the india partnership to her sherry blair foundation and since then we've been nominating women from india to the foundation in london so this is pretty much about me and us at women on wealth and now let's talk about you please start typing What are your financial dreams that bring you to this session? What is it that your heart truly desires with your finances? What are your financial goals? Some of the ideas I can give you are do you want to buy your own property? Build your child's higher education fund, your retirement fund, a fund for your parents. You want to build your financial freedom, you want to free yourself from the 9 to 5 constraints of a job. what are you looking for you're looking for your travel fund travel across the world so start typing everybody what are you looking for what is it that your heart truly desire dr mahalakshmi fasna fatima ganga dharan inviting you guys to jump in gokul hs jb lakshmi manjula vinolin namita got it tessy have my own land and my own house 
Yeah, Nazia, Radhalakshmi, what about you? Ramzia, Redmi Note 7, Reshma, Rasmi, Sujata, Saju. Shanti is looking at her own financial freedom. Got that, Shanti? Shobna, Shaija, what about you? Shoji, Suji, Vasant, Viji, Vishnu Prasad, Vaseem inviting everybody. Got that, Sarina? Sarina wants her own house and travel around the world. Got it. So these are some of the many financial goals you have. Ramzia wants financial security. Got it. Manjula wants her own financial freedom. Got it. Now start typing. What are those financial challenges which are in the way of you reaching these financial goals? Are you living paycheck to paycheck? Do you find it difficult to save? You find it difficult to invest. You don't know where to invest. You lack knowledge of investments. You're only doing traditional investments and you know that you're not growing financially. So what are your financial challenges? Are you in debt? Okay. I'm not even setting goals to achieve them. Got it. Got it. That is Rasmi's challenge. What about others? What are your financial struggles, everybody? Not being able to save properly. Okay. What else? Rajal Lakshmi has mentioned. Uh -huh. I'm starting a new business of my own. So I need to know more knowledge about how to handle financial challenges. Got it. So lack of knowledge on finances. Don't know the best investment methods, Shanti. Better returns, minimal risk collection from the business becomes tough for you, Rekha. Lack of financial knowledge, right place to invest. You're doubtful about which investment is better. Tessie, Vishnu, Rekha, Shanti, Fasna, everybody got it. Now, in the last 11 years of our work at Women on Wealth, we have addressed all these challenges already with 4,000 women. However, addressing all these challenges in the next what, some 40 minutes is next to impossible. So what I promise to do today is help you make 1% improvement in your money life. We at Women on Wealth believe that by making 1% improvement each day, you can become 37 times better with your finances in an year's time. So today, let's begin with that 1% improvement in our money life today. How many of you are ready? for that 1% improvement. Type in ready if you're ready. How many of us are ready? 1% improvement. Got that. Resmi, Reshma, Rajalakshmi, Fasna, Rekha, Ramzia, Sarina, Shanti, Sajita, Dr. Mahalakshmi, Namita. Brilliant, guys. So let's begin with the 1% improvement in our money lives with the three concepts or wealth creation. And concept number one is how not to lose money while investing. A lot of us can be scared of losing money while investing. So what is that one concept you can begin to take care of if you do not want to lose money while investing? And that concept is inflation. For women who understand Hindi inflation is called mehengai, so when you are spending more money to buy the same quantity of products and services, that's called inflation. I'm repeating it. When you are spending more money to buy the same quantity of products and services, that's called inflation. So how many of you notice inflation in your lives? Type in me if you notice inflation. Chandralekha got it. Redmi Note 7 got it. So how many of you notice inflation in your lives? Like you notice that you're spending more money to buy the same quantity of products and services. Nobody? Yes, Shanti, got it. So Shanti, Reshma, which are those items or products and services in which you're noticing you're spending more money to buy the same quantity of products and services? Got that fast now? Yes, Vishnu, household items, cooking gas, 
petrol, transport, gold, gas, food, brilliant. So as consumers, we all are aware of inflation in our lives. We all are aware that we are spending more money to buy the same quantity of products and services. While as consumers, we are aware of this, the same concept of inflation goes out of sight for us when we are investing our money. Let me explain this with an example. So imagine that there's, a, there's an investment policy or scheme that shows up. This investment policy or scheme invites you to invest, say, 1 lakh rupees every year for the next 10 years. And at the end of 20 years, it promises to pay back 22 lakh rupees. Now, as investors, how do we analyze such schemes? We say, okay, we invest 1 lakh rupees every year for 10 years, means we invest 10 lakh rupees. At the end of 20 years, we receive 22 lakh rupees back. So by investing 10 lakh rupees, we're receiving 22 lakh rupees back. Our money is doubling, we think, and we invest in such schemes. What we miss looking at is inflation. Just at an inflation rate of 5% year on year, 22 lakh rupees 20 years later is worth just 8.2 lakh rupees of today. So I'm repeating, by investing 10 lakh rupees over 10 years time, what you receive back in value is amount worth 8.2 lakh rupees. So if you do not want to lose money while investing, you got to make sure that you start taking care of this concept, this guideline. And the guideline is to make sure that the returns on your investments are over and above the inflation rate in the country. I'm repeating it. Make sure the return on your investments are over and above the inflation rate in the country. Financial analysts report that we are in a high inflation zone right now. It's as high as 8%. And what we need to make sure is that the returns on our investments are over and above this 8% inflation rate. Meryl Dennis, who is a communication expert and a women on wealth investor in Goa. She, in a span of one year, has increased her net worth, her financial worth by 37%. While inflation rate is growing at 8% year on year, Meryl has increased her financial worth by 37%. And her financial transformation goes on. Coming back to inflation. So I'm sure each woman here has a savings bank account. Start typing, what is the rate of return you're generating on your savings bank account, everybody? Any guesses? What's the rate of return on your savings bank account? Come on, guys, really fast here. Three point five, four, less than four, two point seven, two point nine, three. Yes, you guys are absolutely right. It's between two and four percent year on year. Now, if you look at fixed deposits, the rate of return is between four and six percent year on year. You look at post office investments, provident fund, any insurance cup investment policies and schemes, the rate of return is between six and seven point six percent max. So if all these traditional investment instruments are generating between 2 and 7.6%, while inflation is at 8%, tell me, are your investments beating inflation? Is the rate of return on your investments over and above the inflation rate of 8%? Type in yes or no. Bingo Shanti. No. Yes, Pasna, Sarina, you guys are all absolutely right. Raja Lakshmi, yes. No, so none of these investments truly help us beat inflation. And if our investments, the returns on our investments do not beat inflation, it means our money is not growing. And if our money doesn't grow, we are not going to reach our financial goals. 
So the truth about wealth creation is that we need to grow our finances over and above the inflation rate if we really truly want to reach those critical financial goals of ours. Now, which are those investment instruments that can really help us beat inflation? So some of those investment instruments are mutual funds, gold bonds, gold funds, properties, stocks, etc. Now, how many of you invest in mutual funds? Type in me. Tell me how many of you invest in mutual funds? Got it fast now? And tell me, do you know the step-by-step -step methodology to pick good quality mutual funds? Fasna, Kusumam, Raja Lakshmi, all of you who are writing me, Manjula, Dr. Mahalakshmi, do you guys know the step-by-step -step methodology to pick good quality mutual funds? No, okay, so how are you investing then? What's happening here? Got that, Raja Lakshmi? I don't know. Then how are you investing? Kusumam? Okay, you're doing it with the help of others. You're not even investing. You're just Googling. Okay. It means you're risking your money, right? It's a clear-cut risk you're taking. You're just doing it on hearsay, on tips, advice. Tell me, guys, if tips could make everybody wealthy, wouldn't all be all the women be wealthy by now? This entire world would have been wealthy with the kind of tips that we have all around Google, WhatsApp groups, banks, colleagues, husband, everybody is giving us tips, advice. If tips and advice could make women wealthy, don't you think each one of us would be wealthy by now and we wouldn't need this session? So what we're clear about at Women on Wealth is that dependency is not the way forward for women. Yeah, It did work in the past. It did work for our mothers, grandmothers. But now with more and more women working and having, earning their own money, it's critical that they also learn to manage that money. We might be inheriting money, but we don't know how to manage that money. So the truth about wealth creation is that women learn to become financially educated. They truly take charge. In our Money Gym program, it takes us four hours to explain the step-by-step -step methodology to pick good quality mutual funds. And it takes you at least one or two hours to practice that after that. So... In the next 30 minutes, definitely I can't share the entire step-by-step -step methodology. And like I said, my commitment today is to help you make 1% improvement. So inside of that commitment, I'm sharing some of the starting steps to pick good quality mutual funds. So the methods are, number one, we look at the category of mutual fund we should be investing in. Number two, we look at who the fund manager is. What is the fund manager's strategy? How well is the portfolio diversified? What is the sector allocation? What is the expense ratio? What are the risk to reward measures? Etc. Now, how many of you are thinking, man, what is she talking about? What is Priyanka saying? This is all going over my head. Start typing. Start typing me. You can see, yeah, I don't get what you're saying. How many of you are thinking, yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Tessie, got it. Takes courage to say that, right? Somewhat Shanti, got it. <laughs> Bit scared now, Ramzia, got it. Got it. It's human to be scared, isn't it? Got it. And this is why I said it takes us four hours to explain the step-by-step -step methodology to pick good quality mutual funds. Now, coming back to concept number two, the truth about wealth creation. So wealth creation happens in three phases, everybody. Accumulation phase, growth phase, and income phase. Accumulation phase is when you begin to accumulate the money that you're receiving in your life. 
all of us receive money in our lives as salary pocket money household income inheritance money comes into every woman's life when we save that money we accumulate that money we are in the accumulation phase of our finances however if you're living paycheck to paycheck we're in debt we find it difficult to save then our challenge lies in the accumulation phase of our finances number 2 is the growth phase where we begin to grow our money over and above the inflation rate so when we grow our money over and above the inflation rate we are in the growth phase of our finances income phase this income phase is the investment income phase some of you in the beginning of the session today said you want financial freedom you want to free yourself from the 9 to 5 constraints of a job now this is that financial freedom phase where you generate an investment income which is bigger than your expenses and three, these three phases run simultaneously in our lives now start typing how many of you think you need to accumulate a lot of money before you can grow it type in me if you think you need to accumulate a lot of money before you can grow it yeah vishnu got it aha uh -huh. rekha rashmi resmi got it sarina who else so all of you who are saying yes i feel that take paper pen and start writing imagine that you are a financially literate a financially educated woman somebody who understands investments financial planning finances completely and say you are 30 years old 30 years old and you start saving and investing just 10000 rupees per month in a good quality investment from age 30 until age 60 so over 30 year period you start saving and investing 36 lakh rupees and at a 8% compounded annual rate of return by the time you are age 60 you generate 1.5 crore rupees so by investing 10000 rupees per month from age 30 to age 60 you've collected a corpus of you've grown your money to become 1.5 crore rupees by the time you turn 60 and this is the power of small savings this is the power of small savings done in an educated way in good quality investments by your own self type in got it if you got this type in myth busted if you busted your myth around accumulating a lot of money before you can grow it got that rekha rekha has gotten it today awesome what about others anybody whose myth is busted anybody who's thinking yeah man i got this completely i can do this got that vishnu race me raja lakshmi brilliant got that pasna kusum sarina brilliant and now i want to talk about one of our students one of our community members she's prema gurung a home baker in delhi ncr and a women on wealth investor she came to a similar introduction session to the money gym program in 2014 at that time she was living paycheck to paycheck she had worked for 10 years and had no savings whatsoever she was in a credit card and a personal debt of about 10 lakh rupees at that time she was finding it difficult to talk about money with her husband they were married for 2 years and she joined the women on wealth money gym program within 20 months of doing the program she paid off her entire debt of 10 lakh rupees and she has never been in debt ever since in the next 3 months she bought the right insurances started building her emergency fund and she started doing her own income tax planning and used tax saving strategies for herself and her husband 
she started buying mutual funds and other investments on her own without depending on anyone in her life at that time her husband noticed the change that prema was bringing to family's finances and he declared her as a finance minister of the house and started handing over his entire salary to her and she started investing for both of them a couple of years later they bought a land in their hometown a couple of years after that when they felt absolutely financially secure and financially prepared they brought a daughter to this world and since then they started building the daughter's higher education fund and then corona virus crisis hit all of us it hit them too both of them lost their income but nothing could shake the peace of mind of the family both of them today are back in their jobs and businesses earning more than they ever did before and they are building their daughter's higher education fund and their own retirement fund so that's prema gurung for you a woman who brought financial transformation to her life and that of her family and this financial transformation goes on you might be thinking to yourself hey prema did it 4000 women in the women on wealth community did it how can you begin on your wealth creation right now so here are the quick steps to create wealth number 1 resolve to start a lot of us women we keep talking about our financial goals oh i want to buy my property or i want financial freedom oh i want to you know free myself from the 9 to 5 constraint of a job i want to go on a world tour etc etc but we truly never get started on these goals we keep giving excuses when it comes to reaching these goals when it comes to even starting on them we say hey i'm not sure if i have the money for this i'm not sure if i have the time for this i don't think i'm as brilliant i'm not good with maths numbers calculations i don't think i can do this there's already too much on my plate let my husband do this for me etc and the cost we pay is we continue to not have the kind of money that we truly deserve we do not have the quality of life we truly deserve we lack peace of mind there's stress there's anxiety some of us even lose the quality in our relationships etc so get guys if we keep giving the same excuses that we've been giving for a long time we're not going to get any different results if we want different results we got to take different actions and one of the different actions you can take today is resolving to start no matter what once you resolve to start step number 2 is learning to research like i said finance is a system and you got to build this system in your life and there is a proper step by step methodology to pick good quality investments there is a proper step by step methodology to build a well diversified investment portfolio there is a method to save more money come out of living paycheck to paycheck do your own financial planning and more so finance is a system and there is a step by step methodology to everything in finance and you got to learn that method let me give you an example of this methodology now so imagine that you want to invest in a business and a business comes your way and this business is about 40 years old 40 years old which means it's a well established business this business has borrowings worth 1 crore rupees it does not has enough cash to pay off these borrowings also this business does not has enough profit to pay off the borrowings given this financial situation of the business if you are invited to invest in the business would you invest type in yes or no would you invest 40 year old well established business not enough cash not even enough profit to pay off the borrowings would you invest bingo vishnu rajalakshmi fasna you guys are absolutely right yes shanti sarina none of us in the craziest of our minds would invest in a business like that 
Now, what did we do? We used a step-by-step -step method to logically see if this business is performing well financially. And if a business is not even performing well financially, how will it generate returns for us? So repeating, once you resolve to start, the next step is learning how to do the research, building a financial system, learning the step-by-step -step methodology to pick good quality investments. And once you've learned the methodology, the next step is building your investor attitude. You got to open your mind, open your heart and be willing to learn, persist, be disciplined, be focused. A lot of women think it's not my job. It's my husband's job. Let him do this for me. Let him do this for the family. I can't be taking on everything. Well, we got to be, go beyond all the conditioning that we've had as women and build an investor attitude that can lead us to our financial goals. Remember those critical financial goals. Next step, note that mentors are a key. Now, had my stock investor mentor, my property investor, had he not been here, I couldn't be here inspiring you guys to take charge of your finances. So note that mentors are a key and community is the secret success ingredient. We're all equal to the five people around us. And if those five people are financially successful people, we will be financially successful too. The key is, can we surround ourselves with people like that? So repeating the steps to create wealth, everybody. Number one, resolve to start. Number two, learn to research, build a financial system in your life. Learn the step-by-step -step methodologies to everything in finances. Build your investor attitude. Note that mentors are a key and community is the secret success ingredient. Kaveri Bharat, a potter, a ceramic artist and a women on wealth investor in Chennai. She says, before the program, before the women on wealth money gym program, I used to think that I barely have any money to put bread and butter on the table. So I will never be able to save anything, forget investing. Today, I have complete awareness of where I am, where I want to be and how I can get there financially. She says, I started my PPF, started an emergency fund, bought my gold bonds, started my NPS, started two mutual fund investments all on my own. And I've realized that I don't need a broker. And this is a financial transformation Kaveri has caused in her life in the last three months of her participation at Women on Wealth. So this is Kaveri Bharat, a financially educated woman, a knowledgeable investor at Women on Wealth. And this is who we are. We are your money school for women. So you enter this online Women on Wealth school and you learn how to take charge of your finances. And you stay in this alumni community for the rest of your life. Start typing, guys. What are the questions you have? All questions are welcome. And if you have questions around our courses, I would give you a form to fill. Okay, just fill that form. Let us know that you're interested in knowing about the Money Gym program. And our team will support you with the brochure, okay? So other than the courses, start typing all your questions. And here is the form if you wanna know more about the program. Come on, guys. I'm sure you have questions around finances.
nobody here is judging you this is absolutely our safe space for women a session only for women so that you can really ask your questions okay so don't feel judged shanti you're asking our mutual funds the best better returns with minimal risk so mutual funds are an indirect way of investing in stocks okay so mutual funds are an equity mutual funds are an indirect way of investing in stocks now when something is investing in stocks it is risky but how do you now minimize the risk you minimize the risk by learning how to pick good quality mutual funds on your own once you've learned how to pick good quality mutual funds on your own you know it for the rest of your life okay it's like learning english we learn it once we learn it once we speak write read it for the rest of our lives the same is with finances you learn about mutual funds once you know it for life that reduces the risk because now you are an educated investor you're an informed investor you know what you're doing that's how you minimize risk by building your knowledge and then yes mutual funds are one of the top investment instruments to beat inflation and generate returns that can help you grow your money to reach your critical financial goals kusum you're saying what type of investments are suggested for a retired person um uh, so now retirement also has phases so there is a phase say which is 60 to 75 years and there's another phase which is 75 to 90 years right because retirement is pretty long and especially we women we have longer life expectancy world health organization has written in its research that the minimum life expectancy for women now is at least 85 years yeah. so retired life is pretty long these days and for us women who are working in the it space and other private jobs we don't have a pension so retirement fund building that retirement fund becomes very critical it becomes a pillar of financial security now how do you invest during retirement now when you are 60 you don't take all the money out of your equity investments why what are equity investments these are stocks and equity mutual funds now these are the only two investment instruments which have a huge track record of beating inflation and growing the money so these investments equity investment need to be in your investment portfolio even when you are 75 because a certain portion of your money your fund has to be continuously has to continue to beat inflation right if at 60 you redeem all the money and not invest in equity none of the invest other investment instruments are going to beat inflation so equity becomes one of the important investment instruments even in your retired life but now you wouldn't invest in equity which are stocks and mutual funds if you don't understand the step by step methodologies to pick good quality stocks and to pick good quality mutual funds so if you don't know the step by step methodology step 1 is learn if you are unwilling to learn then don't invest let your money die the death of inflation because if you invest on here say you're going to collect more failures if tips like i said earlier if tips could make people wealthy everybody would have been wealthy by now right so learn then invest in your retired life definitely equity will be one kind of an investment option another investment option will be fixed income option so say post office monthly income so there is a certain amount of money which is put in the post office and it is helping you derive a monthly income right national pension system is another scheme 
So it has to be a combination of things. It can't be just one thing. It has to be a combination of investment instruments that can truly make sure that your long retirement life is well taken care of. Okay, taking the next question, which is the best saving method for a salaried woman every month? Savings account itself or something else? Tell me, Resmi, if inflation rate is 8% and savings bank account is giving you 2 or 3% rate of interest, are you beating inflation? Do you really think it's the best saving method? I don't think so. So none of the traditional investment instruments now beat inflation. Which means no matter how much money you save, they ain't going to help you reach your financial goals. So what is critical for wealth creation is you save and you invest your money in modern investments so that you can reach your financial goals. So mutual funds, gold bonds, stocks, some of the fixed income investment instruments will be your best bet. And when you learn the art of financial planning, you will learn what are the different investment instruments that need to be a part of your investment portfolio and how much diversification should be there in each of these investments. Some of us think we just need to pick the right investments. Trust you me, the work doesn't stop there. You need to have a written financial plan for sure, which means which investment instruments you need to pick, how much you need to invest, and at what rate of return. But it is also critical how much you're diversifying your investments. That's also a critical instrument. And in our Money Gym program, we have practical tools which are available to help you map your diversification, have a written financial plan, build an investment portfolio without depending on anyone else. We are the only women's platform in India which is offering comprehensive financial education courses. Rekha, you're a businesswoman. You are 54. With savings are better. I've told you. I've already answered this question, right? Raj Lakshmi, which is the best method to invest for retirement life? Already answered, right? How women are more expertise, how women have more expertise in managing and controlling finances of their own family by doing this, how women are capable in managing money. Well, women are very, very capable people. It's just we need to now get present, get conscious of that capability. And we actually hone that capability by building this financial skill. It's like any skill. Right? I mean, in IT, you just keep building skills, right? You keep learning about one software after the other and you keep upskilling. The same way is with finance. You've got to begin with the ABC of finance. And in three months time, you know everything about finances. Maya is a perfect example of that, right? A true Kerala is sitting here to make more difference, bigger difference to the women of Kerala. Vishnu, you're saying, how a woman not have basic education, no financial sound in life? Financial education is missing in school and college system. We may have studied commerce, but we don't know how to manage our finances. Personal finance, managing business finances are two very, very different things. So, yeah, if this education is missing from our school and college system, we got to now acquire it. It's as easy as that. So I'm repeating here is the link to the form that you can fill if you want to know more about the Money Gym program and join our movement, the Women on Wealth Kerala movement, where we are Maya, I, and a couple of more women. We're all committed that Kerala be one of the financially educated states in our country. So that's what our commitment is. Shanti, best investment methods to generate a good monthly income. Shanti and everybody, you all are asking me the same question. Tell me where to invest. 
okay you're asking me the same question you've been taking all these tips for all these years whatever be your age 30 40 50 years you've been taking all these tips and investing has this helped you become a confident investor type in yes or no by taking all these tips do you become a confident investor that yes i'm going to now reach my financial goals you get that clarity you get that confidence come on guys no brilliant rajlakshmi you don't so can we today pledge to stop asking people where should i invest nobody can answer this for you can we first learn how to invest can we first learn about various kinds of investments the step by step methodologies to pick good quality investments and then pick our own investments for the rest of our lives it frees us from any kind of dependency on anyone else for our investment decisions and that's the future for women in india women in kerala on this note i am closing my life thank you so much yes raise me you think 1% improvement is already done got that i'm glad and i love that smiley coming in raise me shanti got it i'm glad you understood now super guys so maya handing it over to you thank you so much raj lakshmi thank you so much priyanka i'm uh, very grateful that you could come and take the session for us and i'm sure all those people who have joined us today are going to go back with a little bit more understanding a more than one percent i would say of the financial uh, uh, situation in in each of our uh, lives as you know kerala is one of the most educated uh, states in india but where we lack is financial education and especially in women there are a lot of uh, you know a lot of ways we are we are one of the best in the country but i think financial education is somewhere we lack and i really hope that who all have attended today understand this and take the steps necessary to make sure they are uh, you know better financially educated and they can take of care of their family and their own selves and also spread this education further i feel very strongly on this part and that's why this this uh, mission that i felt that you know we should uh, once you you know you are benefiting from something it is always best to share and make sure that more and more people Uh, are able to you know uplift themselves and uh, and stop being so helpless uh, in situations like this so i would request everybody to please take up this chance and learn to be financially more independent and educate ourselves in finance thank you so much priyanka the entire wolf team who have been instrumental in making this happen i also thank the entire uh, kerala it parks team who have uh, come together and to to bring this uh, webinar uh, you know to make this happen thank you so much to all the uh, participants and um, i hope you're going home a little bit more happier and well educated uh, in this uh, situation thank you so much thank you maya thank you chenchu and everybody who attended what a privilege thank you bye bye